Guys, you already see the title of today's video. We're actually going to be breaking down why I actually don't recommend a beginner actually starting out using cold outreach when they start their social media marketing agency. Now, guys, just real quick before I get into this, just prelude really quickly by saying the key word there being a beginner. I don't recommend beginners starting out with cold outreach. Now, the reason for that is what this whole video is about. So let's actually jump into this. Now, all I ask in return, guys, is for these free videos that I do here on the YouTube channel. I don't get paid for this. My YouTube channel is not monetized. Have you noticed that you don't see ads on my YouTube videos like ever? Um, well, there shouldn't be anyway. There's I, I use ad blocker, so there definitely shouldn't be ads on my actual videos. So all I ask in return from these YouTube videos that I do for free, I never got paid by the way by YouTube ever. Not once in like the four years I've been on YouTube. Four years, I don't know why I did five. Four years I've been on YouTube that you know I've never been paid. So all I ask in return, guys, is literally just drop a like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a upload. So let's actually jump into why I don't actually recommend a beginner starting off for cold outreach. Now, from my experience, right, and from the clients that I'm working with or the students that I'm working with, I've literally seen them come into my program. Like, you know, slightly hesitant to jump in because obviously all the gurus are offering all these programs and stuff like that. They've invested this much amount of money and it's not worked for them. And then they come into another program. And it's like, oh my God, not, is, is, is it going to be the same thing? They come into my program, slightly hesitant. Then they end up closing clients within the first two, three days. It's literally nuts. I've literally seen this multiple times. In fact, I actually woke up today from a message from one of my actual students called Lee. Lee, if you're watching this, shout out to you, man. Extremely proud of you, bro. Um, honestly, man, it's been an amazing kind of like journey just watching you just grow so quickly. We've not even finished the actual one-to-one uh, -one program yet at the time of recording this. So absolutely nuts how you've been able to, you know, add on an addition on what was it? 5K in revenue this month and, you know, excuse me, this week and 2.7k of that actually being you know net profit so honestly bro absolutely insane and that's just from this week alone so i'll throw the screenshot up somewhere on the screen so you guys can see that but guys from my experience i'm seeing students come in here right into these programs of mine a one-to-one -one program this is not even a soft plug i'm literally saying i'm literally seeing the difference i'm in all the gurus programs by the way all those top top gurus you guys are watching if you're subscribed to me you're probably subscribed to them i'm watching all their their, their, their courses I've, i'm in their courses i've seen everything that they're teaching it's always around cold outreach called this called that called this um and i've literally seen the difference of people going into those programs i've been in those programs myself and i'm seeing what's missing and that's why i've kind of built my programs around what's actually missing in the kind of like sma industry and what's actually missing in people's um, uh, agencies themselves and i'm telling you i keep seeing it over and over again uh, everybody will come to me and be like oh i've been through so-and-so's program it's been x amount of months and i've not actually closed um a particular client in fact i had a message sent to me earlier today of a student of a, of a person actually saying that they spent eight hundred dollars on programs i literally throw it up on the screen i'm not joking like literally it's gotten so bad that if you go to my website montelgordon.com i don't really use this ever this particular website i probably still build i probably might build it out by the end of the year so if you're watching this you know later on and you know forgive the the, the, the difference in time if you will long story short i've, I've seen it's so much that I've literally now had to literally put on my own website the tagline of I'm the dude you come to after you've, after you've taken all the gurus programs and you still haven't landed a client. It's, it's, it's actually quite sad anyway. But anyway, guys, let me actually break down why I don't recommend starting off with cold outreach. If you are a beginner, if you're just starting out and you're a beginner, complete scratch, I don't really recommend starting out with cold, out, cold outreach. I mean, you can, it is free. And I understand why gurus kind of like push that method. Now, let me, let me start by saying this. Yes, cold outreach still works for the guy in the comment section. Yes, cold outreach still works. Yes, you can land clients through cold outreach. It's just quite difficult to do if you don't know what you're doing and you're just starting out. It's actually a tall order, if you will. And there's actually slightly better ways in order to land your first client and get that, those few wins under your belt that actually are quite essential for a beginner's growth. Because when you're beginning, you're quite sensitive to results if you will you, you you expect results really quickly and if you don't get them people get disheartened and they quit sma really quickly within like the first like month or two i'm guaranteed that 90 percent of people who start sma within the first three months they quit like literally it's, it's, it's insane so here's why i don't recommend starting you know off with cold outreach and again i'm not saying cold outreach is bad i'm just saying that there's there's better ways there's 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 multiple win, w ways to skin skin an apple if you will and it's cold outreach is just one of them now if you see me looking over here it's just because i've got a couple of notes so number one i just got i've got like nine nine points here so i don't go off track too much there are better ways to start point number one there's better ways to start what i mean by that is cold outreach right is a method where you go out of your way to reach out to cold prospects 
cold as in like you don't know them you're first reaching out to them and to be honest with you it's kind of awkward when you first kind of like reach out to somebody when you're first doing this sort of stuff it makes you feel a little bit salesy feel a little bit a um, little bit salesy a little bit pestery a little bit spammy as well that's like it actually makes you feel slightly when you're going out your own way because it feels like you're almost pestering somebody so instead of doing that what can you do instead well what you can do instead is actually go out of your way and actually find where your clients are already hanging out and then engage with them in the way that they like to be engaged. And here's what I mean by that. Let's say you're offering, I don't know, Facebook ads to e-com brands. Let, and this is just hypothetically speaking, right? Because I know a lot of you on here probably are into like the Facebook ad stuff for, for, for like e-com brands and stuff like that. Let's say that. So let, let's let's take that particular service. What you can actually do instead is actually start going on to, you know, obviously Upwork. I mentioned Upwork a lot and actually offering Facebook ads there because there's actual e-com brands that hang out on there and actually post jobs on there. Those, those are warm leads. I'll give you an exa another example. You can actually go into Facebook groups and actually find these warm prospects where they're already hanging out. And again, the reason why I'm mentioning this bit is because as Alex Hamozi says, you know, the best place to actually place your hot, let's say you've got a hot dog stand and you're selling hot dogs to people. The best place to actually put your hot dog stand is literally just a, just next to a crowd of hungry people. So what you do is you go and find like football grounds, uh, you know, when people are coming out after the football game, they're probably gonna be hungry. Or you go and find like clubs at like 4 a.m. and you park up outside there and you know, you sell your hot dogs. It's all about what the customer wants and actually being able to meet their desire at the right point in the right place, right location, right time, right location, basically. So that's, that's point number one. Number two is that it's actually harder to master cold e cold emails. Um, it's actually quite a tall order. It's actually hard to master cold emails, guys. Uh, that that's just period. That that period. That's just a, that's just the a, a valid statement. It's actually hard to get for for a beginner to come into SMA to go and buy a domain for seven dollars or what is it twelve dollars and then pay what uh, you know six dollars per month for that and then just start sending out cold outreach and then close a client for two thousand dollars per month in their first like month. It's a very tall order. It can be done, but the thing is, it's not kind of, it's few and far between is what I'm trying to say. Like it can genuinely be done. I personally went 17 months without a client listening to these gurus trying to do cold outreach, put it that way. Like literally 17 months without closing a proper client that was at least a thousand dollars per month. Like it literally was nuts. And then when I closed my first client, which was September, 2019, that I was actually genuinely proud of, which was my first real estate client, um, and the funny thing is I actually used a different method, which was using LinkedIn to actually connect with real estate agent or kind of like real estate agency owners, if you will, or realtors, if you will, for you guys over in, or over in America and stuff like that, or, you know, North, North America and Canada and stuff like that. I connected with a whole bunch of them and I started putting out content for them and I actually using pieces of content. So again, I'm, I'm actually practicing what I preach here in terms of I'm actually building an audience myself or going to where they hang out, which was LinkedIn, adding them as, a, as, as like a, you know, just sending connection requests. And I wasn't even doing cold outreach. I was literally just posting on my actual LinkedIn account about Facebook ads for real estate agents. And then I actually had an inbound lead come through one of my funnels and actually jumped on a call with me and actually closed in the very, I think it was the very first day I actually released my actual uh, case study funnel. I had somebody booking a call within the next like 24 hours, 36 hours, I already had I didn't close for a thousand dollars. It was actually really cool. I actually felt like a proper boss because when somebody comes to you and that's an inbound lead, you feel much more powerful and much more in control. Um, so, you know, mastering cold outreach, very tall order. Now, third point is you need a significant, you actually need more volume than you actually think. You think you can just send out 50 emails and be good, like no, nowhere even close. Um, so you need significant volume to actually get cold emails to work or cold outreach to work. We'll talk about cold, cold, cold emails. I don't really do cold Instagram DMs. Don't really do cold Facebook DMs. I've not done any cold D Instagram DMs or Facebook DMs for like two years or something like that. Two and a half years or something like that. I really haven't tried that properly enough well, technically i have but i didn't that's not really my main focus so I'll, I'll talk about what i focus on now when it comes to cold emails you need significant volume and you need significant you need not only significant volume but you actually need significant personalization within your cold emails for them to even get read you can't just blast thousands of people's emails with a, a silly template that's that never ever worked i know that a lot of people try that i tried that to try save time and cut corners but it actually does not work guys now it takes a lot of time in order to do this though so obviously doing lots of something is going to take more time obviously the more you do something the more time it's genuinely going to take up then to add on top of that you have to do personalization personalization is obviously putting in some sort of personalized line like an icebreaker to kind of 
show and show and kind of prove it's almost like a nod to the business owner if you will that you've actually genuinely read into their business that alone takes time as well is what i found so let's say right and this i'm just going to show you how crazy these numbers actually can get let's and this these are actually good numbers let's say you have a one in five close rate so let's say you, you set five calls right you set five sales calls with ecom brands you're selling facebook ads to them um so you know in one in every five call that you have, you actually close. So you knock down this one, right? That basically means that you need five calls in order to knock down one client. So you actually need you, you know, to close, close the client, if you will. Now, if you know that for every 100 emails you send, you're actually at least getting on one particular call, then that means you need to send five, that, five times that amount in order to get your five calls, in order to get that one client. That means you're gonna need to send out 500 emails to 500 individual different businesses in order to get one client. And I'm telling you, these are, these are good numbers. Like you literally can go a thousand emails deep without even getting um, a couple of meetings. You can go a thousand emails deep without even closing a client. And I'm telling you to do a thousand emails, is a very, very, it's a very tedious thing. 750 emails, 1,000 emails to actually land a client, very, very tedious. I mean, I've literally had people pop up to me saying that they've sent, what was it, 15 emails? No, it was actually 10 emails. No, it's 15 emails and they actually, it actually took them 10 hours of work to do that. So it's absolutely insane when you actually think about it. If you multiply that, if you divide that down, figure out how much it's gonna take you per, per email and times that by 1,000, that's how much it's gonna take. So I found that, this leads me on to next number, point number four is that you're likely going to burn yourself out. If you're doing this all by yourself, you're likely going to burn yourself out and there's actually asymmetric returns, but not in your favor. You're actually doing lots of outreach, right? To get very few sales calls, which is which will always, by the way, be the case, to be honest with you. That's just the way the cookie is going to, to crumble. But these days, because everybody's doing cold emails and stuff like that, not that it's getting oversaturated, but most people don't really buy stuff for cold emails anyway, to be honest with you. They do jump on meetings occasionally, which is why you have to do lots of outreach in order to set a few meetings. And then obviously depending on your close rate, depends on how many, you know, meetings, how many, how many people you close out of five, for example, or out of ten. Um, you know, and the, the, the worse your close rate is, the more emails you have to send. So you actually have to have a proper good system and this funnel that actually genuinely works um, it does take a little while to, to build out and again it will burn you out if you're doing this all yourself which is why I, I highly recommend and I highly recommend I highly recommend and highly talk about having personalized first line writers or virtual assistants aka appointment setters to help you with this sort of stuff um, that leads me on to point number five then you see you guys are actually trying to out compete over agencies right by doing it all yourself and there's other agencies out there that are literally sending like 300 to 500 to even 750 emails per day. And you're trying to actually do, you know, 20 outreach, but whilst you're struggling to do like 20 outreach per day, imagine trying to compete with somebody who's doing 50, 500, excuse me, 500 emails per day. And you're trying to, you're struggling to crank out 20 emails per day. No wonder why you guys are not closing clients. And the funny thing is, most people think that they have some sort of problem with their actual business in terms of, you know, they've sent 50 emails and they've not got a client. So something must be wrong with their, with their offer, with their script, with this, with that. And when realistically, you're just not actually hitting enough volume. You're not actually hitting enough numbers. So now you think you've got a problem when realistically your problem's not a problem at all. It's just that you're not reaching enough people. In fact, if you look at like running Facebook for like, if, if you look into running like Facebook ads for your own agency to attract clients, you have to get thousands of impressions to generate, you know, X amount of leads. Those leads then turn into calls, if you will. And I'm telling you, it's actually, it actually can get quite expensive. So even saying that it sends out, you have to send out a thousand emails to call to one client might sound crazy to you, but if you were to run Facebook ads, you definitely need to, you definitely need more than a thousand impressions in order to actually, um, you know, actually close a client, if you will. It actually can cost quite, quite, quite a lot. You can actually spend up to 1.5K, 2K sometimes for just to acquire one single client, which is obviously quite, quite a decent amount on Facebook ads. Um, now, number six, I've already mentioned is that when you do cold outreach, you can come across as spammy. Um, and number seven, the seventh point kind of links into point six is because you're reaching out to somebody you don't know and you're kind of like an unsolicited email, you it kind of puts you in a point of weakness. It almost puts you in a, almost like an uphill battle, if you will, where it's like you're trying to reach out to them to try fight for their attention. It's almost like, you know, like when you chase a girl too much and a girl is kind of put off by you. If you kind of chase up a prospect way too much, like obviously you have to follow up, like that's just the aim of the game. But if you follow up way too much, people can see that as kind of like pestering. You can come across as spammy. Um, and not only that, but when you get rejected, it hurts as well because you're, it's almost like you, it's so weird 
we know we shouldn't do this, but it's almost like you're, you're emotionally invested in your outreach when you know you shouldn't be. It's actually such a weird position that you get put in when you start doing cold outreach. It puts you in a position of weakness. So when you actually get on a call with these people that you've actually reached out via cold email, it's almost like they're like, okay, what do you want? What, what can you show me? It almost, it's almost like they're interviewing you, if you will. It feels like you don't really have that much power or authority or credibility built up if you don't do this correct and you don't have like proper funnels in place. Now, number eight, I always mention this, but with cold outreach, right? It has a short half-life. Let me give you an example. If you do a cold call right now to a gym business or a real estate business or whatever business it is, once that cold call's done and they kind of say, yeah, well, let, let's set up a meeting or let's say, let's say they don't, they, they, they say, no, nah, I don't really, I don't really care about the, the, the marketing right now. That cold call has just, it disappears into thin air basically. It doesn't stay on the internet, it doesn't grow, it doesn't compound and it, and it doesn't pay you dividends if you will. That's what you call having a short half-life. Let me give you an example. With these YouTube videos here that I'm doing right now, this video right here will probably get watched until next year, two years, three, three years down the line. In fact, you can go back to my YouTube channel, go to like my most popular videos. Those are still getting views to this day, which obviously can help me build my personal brand, help me build my agency. And what you can do in order to kind of like take this and in, 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 like, you know, uh, use this for your agency is you can start by creating, you know, um, content on the internet, especially YouTube. YouTube is the best best platform for this, by the way, um, where you can actually put it, put videos out there. For example, you know, Facebook ads for e-com businesses, and you could talk about Facebook ads for e-com businesses, right? And that will actually stay on the internet and start racking up views for years to come. And I've actually landed clients like this. You can actually go back on my channel and see me actually make videos on, you know, Facebook ads for real estate agents. I literally, am, I'm living proof of this, like li quite literally. There's videos on my channel right now that are literally still generating me inbound leads from real estate agents. And I don't even work with real estate agents anymore. I haven't for, for, for a very long time. So it's actually crazy. So when you send out a cold email, once it gets read and ignored, pretty much done. It doesn't really grow, it doesn't compound, and you don't get paid dividends off of that. Whereas if you drop like YouTube content and stuff like that, or grow some sort of audience on your Facebook page, that's actually going, the more it grows, the easier it gets. Same with Upwork, for example, which is why I love using Upwork. When you use Upwork, and this is something that I teach you know, all of my students and whatnot, um, when you use Upwork and you actually start closing clients on Upwork, your profile actually starts building out and you actually get better statistics, better earned amounts and stuff like that, better reviews on your, your, your profile, better, 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 better um, items in your portfolio. So what you can actually do now is actually, it actually becomes easier to actually land clients because the more clients you get, the, the better your profile, the better your profile, the easier it gets. So it's almost like a windmill effect, a snowball effect, if you will. Whereas like doing cold emails doesn't really compound over time, which is you know obviously sad, but you get the point I'm trying to make. And then point number nine is that again, there's a better way to do this, which is gain cash flow first because that can really help you scale in the long run. And here's what I mean by that. Obviously the hybrid system is what I have obviously invented at this particular point and I coined, coined it the hybrid system because it's like, one outreach system fuels your other system. So if you think of a hybrid car, you know, traditional hybrid car, one engine, which is your ICE, internal combustion engine, if you will, as you're braking and stuff like that, you know, you're coming, to a, coming to a stop, if you will. So what it basically does, it regenerates the actual electric, you know, engine that it actually powers the batteries, if you will. And this obviously could take you further as well. So that's kind of like what I mean when I say hybrid system, one engine fuels over. And here's what I mean by that. You can use place, you can go to places like Facebook groups, use Upwork, some sort of longer half-life, warmer traffic source, if you will, Facebook groups, Upwork, other freelance websites. And what you can do is actually close clients on there really quickly, stack up clients, right um, and actually stack up this cash flow and then what you can do is implement a team to actually do outreach for you so that's what a hybrid system is all about guys um, and I found that it's actually life changing for me and my actual students as well so it's absolutely you know just insane anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video I hope that you can kind of see where I'm coming from obviously I'm not just trying to you know, shit on cold emails or cold outreach or anything like that um, I'm just saying that there's an alternative I'm just trying to show you that there's different you know, ways to skin the cat, if you will. Different different methods you can think about. You don't have to just be like, oh, I need, need to do cold emails. Um, no, there's actually other methods out there. So that's why I kind of want to get across in this particular video. Um, that said though, guys, if you're interested in a one-to-one -one program, spots are still available. Let me just double check. There's like one or two spots available. I'll have to double check, but it's like one, I'll put it in, I'll put it in the comment section below. I think there's like one spot available. Well, technically there will be, yeah, there will be one spot available because a friend of mine is actually jumping into the program as well, actually from my from my C, actually went to university together. I've actually mentioned him on his channel quite quite a few times as well, so he's actually jumping into the program, so that will be a spot taken. So there's only gonna be one spot left for the one-to-one -one program. That's where you get to learn everything I just basically said to you on this video, 
in like a four week program where you get to work with me one to one it comes with full money back guarantee and i've had to hand out zero refunds out of 80 something students so i have a 100 percent track record on that which is actually insane so that being said guys if you're interested in that you know go to the link below i'll make it abundantly clear where you should go other than that though guys i hope you guys are doing well and i'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to drop a like comment subscribe and i'll see you soon peace